four. Jeez, this took a little busy. I have gone through 12 years of records, um, which is everything from you know pay stubs to just a tish to my jewelry, my stone business, blah blah blah. So I went through. Hang on, Let's see if I can do this. I went through this, 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 this box, this box, that box, and all three of those drawers. And I have that, that to throw away. Oh my God. Now, I feel like I can think business-wise owning it freaking owning it today i feel good about me oh it is finally done all right to y'all it might look like she it's finally done so the office i have my my bookcase with my pictures and my books the closet is still kind of a work in progress, but I know where everything is. This is all yarn, and it needs to see. This is all my yarn in here. Uh, there's no room to incorporate it. So that just means that I'm blessed and I need to get busy. Um, I got all this storage now because I got the top of that cleaned off. My sewing machine is ready to go with my projects here. All of my material, my pillow stuffing. Of course, you know. Work cookie and spooky live, but you guys, uh, um, all of these slam through like that, all of that, and it was just all hodgepodge. Now it's all separated, every bit separated, and I need to go back through and now organize this, but at least we're separated. Um, so this is what it looks like. This, this is where it looks like when I sit, uh, when I'm talking to you. Um, and uh, that's little, that's Sissy's little corner where she hangs out down there. Um, but just so excited, just absolutely excited about all of it. So good evening. Uh, I just realized as I sat down, I need to get one of those mats that you put so on because I keep rolling over this cord. So anyway. I feel like I have conquered the world today. I am not going to lie. Oh, gosh. Just so busy. Just so busy with all of this. Went through. I have one bucket of... This is a bucket of memories. Uh, I found letters in there from Lee. Uh, I found Lee's growth chart that she had as a kid. It was from McDonald's. Um, and I have it tucked away. I might hang it back up. It is just old and dry rotted, falling apart. Um, but I found that and I'm so excited. I got just everything organized. Uh, I went to the clinic today because it's payday. It's Friday. I've lost a day somewhere. Um, step and scale. I'm so excited. I lost another pound. Um, so, uh, today, uh, I thought, um, well, I would show you this. And then the other things I'm really excited about, uh, downstairs, I am organizing, um, my workroom. And I'm moving stuff and getting rid of stuff down there as well. That's going to be the big, big reveal. Uh, and I, I found a bunch of my cabochons that I thought I lost. And I did cry a little bit. I was so excited. There's still one more batch that I've got to find that I haven't found yet. Um, so I'm going to show you those. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. So these, these are the stones that I found. My, my tumbled stones. Tum my, these are my, my cabochons that I found, um, while I was downstairs organizing and moving. And I'm so excited. If I could just only wire wrap and sell pendants, I would. Um, but I have found that even when I even focus on pen pendants, when I focus on pendants, somebody wants a bracelet match. So I just diversify. And it, that just 
it doesn't do my heart butterflies like making pendants. Um, so here's what I here's what I found. Here's what I found. Here's some that I found, and so this is this is lapis, and we've talked about lapis. Ooh. Oh oh, you know what? I need to move my light, and I can't. I can't. We got a really bad shadow. Hey, focus over here, camera. So this is there we go. This is lapis. We've talked about lapis before. Isn't that gorgeous? This is. I've got several of these. Uh, this this is ruby and zoe. We've not talked about this one yet. Uh, oh my gosh, it's a nice big one too. That's going to be a pretty one to wrap. Um, and I have Fossil Jasper. I love that. Look at the pattern. Um, this is, this is Banded Agate. I have to, like, move it over and look at the light. There we go. Banded Agate, which is, has the same properties as, as Agate. We've talked about that before. Um, and then it also has properties of the Banded Agate. Um, so it's black. It's not dyed. This is natural. Black Banded Agate. Um, so you know there's a lot of protection in this one. And you know that it also uh, has a lot of properties that do with uh, releasing and dealing with negativity. Um, what else? That's, that's another style of lapis. Uh, this is another jasper. Yeah. This is another jasper here. Um, oh. oh my god. Isn't that gorgeous? So you can see why I was so excited that um, Amazonite. Don't. There's some Amazonite, some Amazonite here. Some more Amazonite here. What's this shiny one? Oh, fluorite. That's a real big piece of fluorite. Oh. God, I just get so excited. There's some more of that. Um, oops. Some more Jasper. That's either Ocean Jasper or Rainforest Jasper. Um, here is... This is a lot of Jasper in here, and that... That does not make me mad. Not one bit. Because I freaking love Jasper. I had to switch over to my phone <clears throat> because my, my battery died on my camera. Um, so I'll be editing back and forth. You'll, you'll be seeing the difference here. Bing, bing, bing. Um, the other thing I found that I'm really excited about, uh, and I don't know what's on it, so I got something on it that I can pick off, I'm sure. Yeah, I can pick it up. Um, but digging through boxes. Because what I'm doing is I, I have just been hoarding stuff in boxes, like, willy-nilly. I don't even know what's in there. Um, and um, I'm just, like, going through boxes because what I'll do is I'll just grab a box and be like, oh, this is a good place to store something. And then I, But I won't organize the storing. I'll just, or, I'll just throw stuff in there. So I get a box and I go through each box. Um, as opposed to just putting that box back up like on a shelf somewhere and I found this. My uncle was a silversmith and he did such gorgeous work and I went out to see them in 2007 and uh, they took me to the big gym show out there that goes on for like, I don't know, like a week. It's ridiculous uh, and it's just tents the size of football fields. And tents along the side of the road. Uh, they just take over a hotel, and all the rooms in the hotel are different, different vendors, and just set up in these rooms. I, I lost my mind. Just lost my mind, and I filled up. I ended up having to ship my clothes back to me because I couldn't bring home all of the beads that I bought. All of the stones that I bought. Plus, I had to keep it like a 35-pound limit. 
I had to leave money for them to uh, ship the extra stones of beads to me because I like filled up a suitcase of beads. Some beads I still have from 2007. And Uncle Richard was like, I didn't know you were into stones so much. I didn't realize you were such a rock hound. He said you are like revitalizing me, making me want to make jewelry again and, and do things. And the stuff he made, like sold for thousands, some hung in, in museums, like everything. This is one of the first things he ever made. And I've probably had this 40 years. Um, he gave it to me when I was in high school. Eighth grade, freshman year, high school. And I found it and I'm just so excited. Because I didn't appreciate him when I was young. Didn't appreciate him until I got a lot older. So this is a great little treasure and I can't wait to put it back on my wrist again. I'm going to start wrapping again and I'm, I'm just so excited. And if I could focus solely on pendants, I would. Um, these are some pictures of some of the pieces that I've wrapped. Um, I love the focal energy of wearing just a pendant. Um, as opposed to wearing necklace bracelets with several different stones. It all, and it all just depends on how your energy reacts. And my energy reacts best to just a focal pendant. Uh, and then I love to put those stones together to add different meanings. Um, I've had requests for pendants from people um, that want to focus on like one thing because they want to keep it with them all the time. They're not someone that like maybe, you know, wears pants with a lot of pockets or they don't want to keep it in their pocketbook because they want to keep it on them, to, on, on them all the time. They don't want a bracelet because they work in front of a computer. There's a lot of clack, clack, clack. Uh, so that's why these pendants, that's why they're great. Um, cause, and if you don't want to show them off, you can wear them on a longer uh, cord or chain and wear them under your clothes and just, just it's your little secret. Just between you and your pendant, the energies that are going on around you that day. And so that's why I really love to make pendants and focus on them. Um, and I brought my store down and I'm getting ready to bring my store back up and who knows, maybe I will just change the direction of, of the the way I do my jewelry um, and pretty much focus on, maybe I'll focus on pendants and, and earrings. That's a fun Friday. Uh, thanks for hanging out with me. And remember, be peaceful. Be kind. It's important. Talk to you tomorrow. I don't want to zoom in. I want to zoom back out. How did I do this? Okay. Uh, oh my god. Oh my god. No. Hello. So excited. I don't know how to work this.